hello programmers spide is back with one another video so in previous video we have seen about how we can create a chatbot using a chat gpt api and we have deployed a whatsapp chatbot now in this video i'm going to continuing with my ec2 series so in ec2 part i have explained how you can deploy your python streamlit web application into the ec2 so into that video i got a lots of good responses and as well i got a lots of comments about ki how we can deploy the same web application into with our custom domain right so now if you are observing uh, i have crea created this web, web application and deploy it into the ec2 so if you don't know how to deploy it in ec2 in ec2 so what you can do you can just follow this video and this video link i i have given into the description so just first watch this video and then you can continue with this video right so today our motive would be we are going to deploy the same web application but with our own custom domain right so now our application is already deployed in ec2 you can see here it is running i have running this application into the ec2 already ec2 is also deployed here you can see this is my ec2 and application running into it right now if uh, what what is the importance of domain name right uh if you don't know domain name is nothing but it it will be a particular your alphabetic address you can consider www.google.com or whatever it is so for that you need to have some particular domain name right so for this tutorial only i have purchased one simple web domain name and now i'm going to deploy this same web application which is this url right now this url if i'm going to someone it looks very weird so instead of that i should have particular domain okay so from hostinger i have just purchased this domain which is machine learning hub dot shop so now i'm going to deploy the same application which is this into the machine learning hub dot shop right so for that we are going to follow some particular ways so this is the requirements and this is the step that we and we need to follow so first of all you should have the domain so already i have purchased the domain so my my first step is already completed now second step second step is create a hosted zone in route route 53 if you don't know what is route 53 route 53 is a aws service just like a ec2 so within route 53 you can route your traffic to your particular domain and lo lots of things other that you can do in route 53 right so for particular this use case we are going to use a route 53 what you need to do go to your uh, amazon console just log in it and search for route 53 so from here as well you can purchase the domain but here you need to pay in dollar so i just found this uh, cheap domain in hostinger so that's why i just prefer hostinger as well but from route 53 you also can create a, uh, you can purchase a domain okay so this is the dashboard of route 53 now what you need to do i am assuming that ki you have already created domain so what you need to do now you need to go to the left panel hosted zone in left panel you will find a hosted zone now we need to create a hosted zone so what you need to do you need to click on this create hosted zone you need to write your domain name whatever domain it is just copy this and write the similar domain name uh, here like whatever domain name you have description you can add you can you need to make this as a public tags you need to mention otherwise it's fine and just click on create okay so i'm not going to create one second because i already have same you can see here now when you are going to create a domain okay so you will get a particular records there records it simple means ki route route of your domain so by default two records will be there which is machine learning hub dot show uh, dot shop and shop you can see here but type will be ns means name server and soa which is will be simple routing okay so you can see now what you need to do after you will get this by by default two records only now you need to go to your domain name provider in my case it is hostinger in your case it could be go go daddy or whatever it is now in your domain overview you will get a name server configuration okay so name server configuration you need to change because when you are going to purchase a domain you will get a default name server with uh, hostinger or go daddy okay now i don't want that because my name server should be managed by aws because i am preferring route 53 what you need to do now when you are going to scroll this records which is already added you will get this four name server so we need to add this four name server value here you just need to click on change here uh, and then you can add but remember that ki changing a name server will take uh, almost 12 to i think 12 to 6 hours it depends on the your domain name provider but in my case it took almost 6 to 7 hours to update a name server even you will get a warning as well so if this is the first initial step that you need to follow so after the changing name server you just need to compare with you can see in my case all the name servers are compared here it means it is the same because the same name server i have given to here okay so after the changing name server you can see uh, our third ta third task is also done so three step we had done we just purchase a domain we created hosted zone we have changed the name server now 
now let's talk about how to run application so my application is already running you can see this is my streamlit web application this is the same application that i have deployed in my last tutorial this is the application so it is just doing nothing it is just scrapping a web uh, news from the internet if you want to see the separate tutorial like how i created this application link in description you can follow that okay so this is the application now this application is particularly running on the public ip before see if i'm going to go to ec2 let me go back to my ec2 console now there is one requirement that we need to follow your application should not be running on any port your application directly should be running on on your ip okay so if you remember last time when i i need to access my application i need to go into the 8501 port but now today i can access from direct ip only see this is the my server now how your application should be running just uh, this is your public ip before if you are pasting this browser this ip in browser and if you are entering your application should be visited so that's how you need to run this application and for that you need to run your application on port number 8080 because this is a default routing port so if you are running any application on 80 port then you don't need to mention here 80 it will directly automatically open by default you are mentioning without 80 but if you are not mentioning otherwise your application will be on particular port which is 8501 or if, if it is a flask application it will be 5000 okay so for that i have just run this uh, while running the streamlit application i have given server port 80 so now my application is running on 80 port and within my public ipv4 i can access my application so now my almost task is done now we need to copy this url because now my traffic should be routed via this domain name to this ip only so just copy this otherwise you can't copy from here you can directly copy from console as well okay now go to once again route 53 the public hostel zone with that we have created okay yeah so we need to now create a third record so two records are already created now we need to create a third record okay now what we need to do record name subdomain so before that you just need to choose a record type so here in our case uh, you can choose a c name or you can choose a, a but cname it simple means ki it will route your traffic to your subdomain like if someone is writing a www.google.in so if i am mentioning the www.google.com here so if someone is visiting google.in still it will revisit to your www.google.com so cname that's how it works but here in this case we need to mention a because we need to follow a particular ip ipv4 so now i need to mention uh, subdomain name you can consider app dot only app i need to mention so what will be uh, on which part my application will be running which is app dot then my domain machine learning hub dot shop then on this address my application will run so that's how i'm supposed to enter now here we need to mention the ip okay so higher what i can do just go to ec2 and copy this public ip before address i'm just copying this ip here ttl means uh, you know it will take some some time to refresh so here in this case i am just choosing the one minute it means uh, 60 second now routing policy so routing policy have the different total whole concept which i am not going to explain here but in this case i am going to mention simple routing policy otherwise it can be a weighted or geolocation or failover but here i am mentioning the simple routing policy and just i am going to create a record so the creation of record will take a time and still it can take a four to five minutes or maybe more than 10 minutes as well to update this route so let's check it is running or not i think it will run or not i'm not sure but just try to open this url and default browser or maybe different browser let's see it is running here or not and you can see it's running now if i'm going to see now my application is running on domain name you can see app dot machine learning hub dot show which is my domain now my road route is here okay let's check let's open terminal again uh, just let like check for ns lookup command i'm sure it should be there yeah i hope my uh, let me zoom zoom out it let's write I don't know why I can't able to write. Okay, let me open it once again. Just give me a minute. 
yeah so due to some issue my terminal was not running but if you don't have ns lookup you can uh, i think in normal windows 10 now you are getting this ns lookup as well so you what you need to write just write ns lookup and then url of your application which is app machine learning hub dot shop and you can see here it's routing to my original address which is ip which is our ipv4 of c2 you can see 15.2061721 see this is the same so even if i am visiting this still my application will open and if i am visiting my domain name still my application will open because because of this route 53 what it is doing is if someone is visiting to your app dot machine learning hub dot shop whatever domain name you have mentioned it forwarding to the ip which you have mentioned during configuration so in my case it is forwarding to this ip so whatever traffic is coming to my domain name it will be directly forwarded to this ip and now if i want to give my application to someone else so instead of providing direct ip before which looks very weird you can directly provide this url okay so i hope that this tutorial is very clear to you if you didn't get anything just comment below and like and share this video don't forget to subscribe machine learning hub and don't forget to delete whatever resources you have created in your aws account because it take a lot of charge and guys remember that uh, i have just taken this domain name for to explain you so it take it took almost one 100 rupees near for to me anyway it's fine for me because i just want to teach and explain you about this concept okay so like and share and don't forget to subscribe machine learning hub so guys see you in the next one